My name is Michel Mulder. I started as an aviation medical examiner in the 90s and as an airline transport pilot. I've been flying a different aircraft. My last aircraft was a Boeing 767. I was grounded for an unknown reason to me at the time. I was uh, uh, not able to function in any way or shape anymore. I was tired. I was not unable to concentrate. I've been at home for about uh, six months until I met uh, a colleague pilot, a Dutch pilot, who was flying for British Airways and he was in the same condition as I was but already for a year and a half. He brought to my attention an article in the Independent which for the first time described all my symptoms under the header of the aerotoxic syndrome. I was quite shocked by the whole story and from that time onwards I wanted to find a treatment to at least regain my health back again and the other part was to um, eventually find the proper diagnosis of this condition and have a practice where I could treat people. It was after my first visit of the conference in London about the aerotoxic uh, syndrome that I had met Professor Abedonia. He uh, explained to me that it was possible to do different analysis like uh, a blood analysis to um, diagnose this treatment. I asked a friend of mine who was a commercial pilot also in Holland to um, test the, uh, the whole um, uh, blood uh, sample. He did. He was in initially very skeptic, uh, but he um, uh, was a bit, a bit uh, flabbergasted by the results of the test, where he did not have any uh, symptoms of the aerotoxic syndrome itself. The test result showed that he had an increase of cell death in his brain after a normal flight, with a very low exposure. Shortly after that, he dis developed uh, sudden deafness and vertigo and he has been in bed for about half a year. There were three different professors who have looked at him and the last one wanted to operate him. I thought that the proposal for the operation was such that he would have lost the function of his ear and inner ear after that operation. And at that time I met Mr. Sautuwelle. He was, at, uh, he was coaching uh, top sporters with different uh, food supplements and to bring him to optimum condition. In my conversation with him, he analyzed the uh, situation of this colleague pilot. And uh, after that, we designed, he designed a plan to treat him. The amazing thing that happened was that uh, from the onset of the treatment, he uh, had no vomiting spells anymore of two hours, up to two hours they were lasting each day and he was nearly losing his consciousness in, in that process. He regained uh, a fit to fly status after six weeks and he is now still flying around in his, B, in his Boeing 747. And that was the beginning of a practice to, um, in, to treat similar affected pilots um, that are coined under the aerotoxic syndrome. And we are seeing now a variety of people from the aviation industry in Europe and uh, with varying results. Many are back into flying, some aren't, and many have regained a um, acceptable or a good uh, condition of health again where they can function normally in, in normal life. We got an invitation about two years ago by a, a European oil company to give a presentation on the aerotoxic syndrome. Um, the oil companies have uh, production platforms on the North Sea where they operate turbine engines similar to the ones that we have in the, in, uh, under aircraft. But they also use the same oil to lubricate these turbines. The problem of the aerotoxic syndrome is emanating from the oil itself. The, the people that maintain these turbines are exposed on a daily basis with these oils on their skin. And the organophosphates that are as an additive in these oils, they um, reach the body through the skin and they are a nerve toxic component. And eventually they will develop sy um, systemic neurological damage. And um, the oil company expressed that they 
were having a lot of people uh, of their um, platforms that were neurological incapable to work anymore and they were fired on medical grounds. After we left, we got a, a, a request from one of these oil workers to send in a kit that we designed for the pilots. This man had tried it, this on his uh, own initiative by himself and after six weeks he reported that after 23 years the severe headache he was having was, had gone after about two weeks after the onset of the treatment. After six weeks he, could have, he did have normal energy again to such a degree that he could drive a car again and fix his house and he felt he had been given his life back. And he, had, and he had stopped using the ibuprofen, which is a strong um, painkiller, for 23 years. And he had, he had used quite high doses. And um, one of the side effects is that you get liver damage because of using these uh, pharmaceuticals. Um, from there, the word spread very quickly. And we have now a project that has been paid by the union to treat 10 oil workers that have been fired 10 to 15 years ago. And uh, we are looking forward to the results in about six months from now.